Did you know that Instagram just changed their logo again? And the internet is already freaking out. Today I'm gonna to talk about the full history of the Instagram logo and how audiences reacted every time it changed. If you're new here, I'm Tyler, AKA Tylee Talk, and on this channel I design, redesign, and critique logos. So if that's something you're into, then feel free to subscribe. So you may have already been seeing people talk about this new logo change and how when their app updated, it looks so much brighter. And that's because Instagram actually went through their first rebrand again since they changed it back in 2016. But the first Instagram logo came out when the app was unveiled in 2010. You might not be as familiar with this app icon because they actually only kept it for a couple months. But it was designed by one of the Instagram co-founders, Kevin Seistrom, and it kind of looks like a knockoff Polaroid camera with a rainbow stripe running down the middle. I actually really like this old logo. I think it differentiated itself from other social media platform icons at the time. And it also tells you exactly what the app is gonna be about. It's about taking photos and giving them that filter so that they look vintage or changed in some way. I actually went back and I found the first ever photo posted on Instagram by the other founder, Mike Krieger. And this is what that photo is. And and I also went back and found my first Instagram post from 2012. And let's just say it's a sign of the times for sure. So later that year, they hired a different designer, Cole Rise, to actually make the Instagram logo that we were more familiar with back then. He was inspired by Bell and Howell cameras from 2011, but also wanted to keep the placement and everything of the original logo the same. In 2011, he refined it even more and made everything a little bit sharper, added better textures to everything, like the leather at the top, and in researching for this video, I actually found out that they designed the what the back of the app would look like too, and it looks like the back of a camera. I think everyone can agree that this logo in particular was really well liked by audiences. And I think that's why everybody freaked out when they unveiled the new one in 2016, because it was so different. I remember people updating their phones and immediately taking to Twitter and everywhere else and talking about how much they hated it. But overall, especially as time has gone on, I really think that the change was for the better. The app was no longer used for just taking photos and filtering photos anymore. They had video, they had stories, they had all kinds of things. And I think they needed an icon to match what they were hoping to do with Instagram in the future as opposed to showing a vintage camera and looking toward the past. So they had designer Ian Spalter actually make this logo and there's a really cool documentary about his team and how they made it on Netflix called Abstract the Art of Design that I would highly recommend checking out. I think the gradients of the new logo really mirror things that they were doing within the app already like on stories and also with IGTV, Reels, other things like Boomerang that had their own app icons, I think you could really see how this gradient could make all those look more cohesive than if they were using the old logo still. And we can't say it's 100% about the logo, and I definitely don't think that's the case, but when they introduced the logo in 2016, there was about 400 million users on the app, and two years later, there were over a billion. So it definitely did something right with the direction of the app and with getting more people on the platform. I think it definitely stands out on your phone compared to other social media platforms still, but still kept the recognizable shapes from the old one, so you still knew which app to click on. Now flash forward to three days ago and Instagram just unveiled this new one. And again, it caused quite a frenzy online. So they basically just made the logo brighter and made the gradients have brighter colors in it. And I guess they're gonna change everything throughout the app to go along with these different newer colors. Instagram said that they wanted the new logo to use vibrant colors to make it feel more illuminated and alive and to signal moments of discovery. A designer named Rose Pilkey actually made it and she used 3D technology to actually make a 3D gradient map. And I definitely don't think that this logo change is big enough to warrant any hate. I really think that people just hate change and they hold on to these old logos and things like that for nostalgic reasons when really there's no reason to hate on the new ones, sometimes. But what do you think? Definitely let me know down in the comments. And if you like this video, give it a like and subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you in the next one.